Hello everyone, this is Frida Walker with Melt Away the Fat with Your Mind. Please join me as I share my personal success stories and strategies of losing weight while beating my addiction to food binge eating. Okay, we are here with John Blackley, CEO of Pro Elite Fitness, 35 years in the business of training, getting people uh, physically fit. And he is gonna talk a little bit about exercise and then we're gonna show you some core exercises that you can do right in your living room. Take the intimidation out of exercise, start at home, nobody's watching, and John is gonna help us do that. So, John, tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about exercise and how you guys started. I've been exercising for a little 35 years. I'm a certified master trainer. I have trained professional athletes. I have trained amateur athletes. I have trained bodybuilders, boxers, children, coach baseball, basketball, football. I love helping people achieve their goals in life through fitness and nutrition. I'm ready to make this thing happen. Let's do this. Ooh, all right, all right, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is stretch, because you definitely wanna stretch and have a good warm up because you don't wanna cause any injuries. So the first stretch we're gonna do is, you tell us what this stretch is. All right, we're gonna go reach down. We're gonna hold this stretch for 10 seconds. Okay. All right, and we're gonna, now we're gonna reach way back, far as we can, and I'll count it off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Maintain that position there. Take your hands behind you, clamp them together, okay. and pull up. Now we're stretching out our shoulders and our hamstrings. And we're going to do a count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Roll up out of stretch nice and easy. Okay, and you should really feel the stretch in the back of the legs and in the hamstrings. As well as your shoulders. And the buttocks. With the jumping jack is, you can do for cardio. You definitely want to do something for cardio and a jumping jack will help you do that. You can do that, like I said, right in your living room. Another, um, with the jumping jack, you can do a modified version. You don't have to do the jumping up and down. But you want to do at least 10 to 15 repetitions. So that's one exercise you can do. And then we will go to, what's our next exercise? Squats. Whew. The mother of exercises is the squats. Because you work a lot of the... You work in your thighs, your hips, your glutes, as well as your core. Squats yeah. will define your abs more so than doing sit-ups. Really? Yes. Wow. Okay, and give me a booty. And give you a booty. Okay, cool. So... Stand with your feet slightly, shoulder width apart, toes slightly out. Okay. okay. And we're going to the squat. Now squat, you want to keep your chest up, keep your abs tight. Now how we're going to do this, we're going to want you to... As you go into your squat, I want you to raise your hands up this way and squat and bend down and reach. All the way down there and low. Yes, Ooh. reach. Right there. And hold that squat, bring your hands back down as you come back up. You can relax your abs now, squeeze your glutes, and then continue to go back down to us. Reaching forward. And how many times do we gotta do this? You can do this anywhere between 10 to 15 repetitions. Okay. Using your body weight. Okay. This is hard work. <laughs> yeah, good. Go back down. <laughs> it's for demonstration purposes. <laughs> and back up. Whew, I, yeah, all up in here. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I've been doing those wrong. <laughs> so, okay, and most good. people have, and that's okay. That's okay. But you, you'll correct it and we'll continue to grow if we do proper form technique. And that's the whole point. If you're gonna do the exercise, you have to do good form. Because if you don't do good form, you're really not getting as much out of it as you could. It also helps cut down on injury. Okay. A lot of back, uh, back problems from squatting or knee problems because okay. people squatting incorrectly. Okay, so now we are going to hit the floor. These are exercises you can do at home. I said you could do them at home. I didn't say they would be easy. So. With that being said, John. <laughs> what we want to do with a push-up, we want to keep our elbows in close as we can, and we want to take our chest towards the floor. Bend our elbows, take our chest towards the floor, and push straight back up. Good. Go back down again. Inhale, push up, exhale. It's important you breathe properly as well when you're doing these push-ups. Now she's working her chest and her shoulders and her rear delts are getting some work as well. It's a great exercise for upper body strength and development. One of the best things you ever do for your chest is to push up. 
Make sure this is part of your routine. Three times a week. Okay. Every other day. This is for demonstration purposes only. Okay, so now, so now we're going to what? We're going to work our core. We're okay. going to go into the plank. Oh. Two ways to go. We're going to go what we call elbow plank. Okay. Okay, this is important. Now, you don't want to drop your spine too low, your back too low, to put pressure okay. on your lower spine. We want to elevate your glutes slightly, just slightly upward. We want to do it like that and just breathe normal. Okay, so put my feet out yep. on my elbows. Yep, good posture right there and just breathe. We want to try to hold this for about 30 to 60 seconds. Get you a kitchen watch. Uh, timer or something so you can sit in the floor so you can see how you're holding it. If you can't do it for 30 seconds, start building up to that so you can get the 30, up to 30 seconds or more. Okay, so we're going to do one for 30 seconds. I can hold it for 30 seconds. Y'all going to count me down? Count me down. I'm going to count you down. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, I can do eight, it. <laughs> nine, twenty, one, two, three, I can do it. <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She oh, done it. Great. I did it. Awesome. Oh, okay. Thirty seconds seems like a lifetime. It did. Oh my goodness, but I got my cardio up too because it's breathing as well. So, to sum everything together, we're going to show you all the exercises so you know what to do at home, stretch, complete workout. And what we're going to do, we're going to demonstrate one time, but you want to do this four rounds. So you want to do each exercise 10 to 15 times, four times each. And we're going to do the whole routine all the way through so you know what to do when you're at home working out. So. Like I said, you wanna make sure you do each exercise 15 times. So that's 15 jumping jacks, 15 squats, 15 push-ups, and 15 planks. So I'm gonna go through the whole thing. You ready, John? Yes, we're ready. Okay, you lead us through. So we're gonna start off with our stretch. I want everybody to reach down into the stretch. You can start in this position, and then I want you to reach back between your legs as far as you can. And then you're gonna take your hands back behind you. You block your hands together and pull your shoulders up as far as you can. Okay, you want to hold that stretch for about 10 seconds, then you want to come up out of that stretch. Now we're going to go into our jumping jacks. So we're going to do 15 jumping jacks. And from jumping jacks, we're going to go into our squats. So get by shoulder width apart, toes slightly bent out. We're going to put our hands on our thighs. And as we go into our squat, we're going to, we're going to reach forward and our hands and our glutes are going to go back towards the wall. And you're going to do this 15 times. Then 15 times, you're going to come up. Squeeze those glutes, and I'm gonna demonstrate it one more time. I'm gonna reach forward, push those glutes back. Nice parallel squat. Put all the pressure on your heels and come up. Squeeze those glutes. And now we're gonna show you the push up. One more time. So you wanna come here, or you can go to your knees for modified version, and you wanna push up. Chest to the floor, and down, and up. From here, from the push-up. We're going to our plank position. You can also do full plank, or you can go modified. It's totally up to you. Listen to your body. Your body will tell you what it can and cannot do. Then you have to listen to yourself, and you have to push your body. And then you tell your body what to do. So, that's our routine. Okay, everyone, now you have a core foundational group of exercises you can do at home in the privacy of your living room. Get that body moving. It's important. It's imperative to life and health and just, just having a quality of lifestyle. And John, let's kind of remind everybody of all the muscle groups that we work today. We just basically worked a total body workout. We included hamstrings, glutes, calves, chest, shoulders, abs, biceps, triceps. Every muscle group was worked today in these four basic easy uh, uh, workout movements that we did. So, like I said, get that body moving. This is Frida. Melt away the fat with your mind. You can do it. I believe in you. You just have to believe in yourself. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos. Go to the website and get all the tools that you need to help lose that weight and control your eating. Thanks for watching.